Hi, I'm Tony. Hi, Tony. And I'm Gordon Walker. Gordon Walker, yeah. I was reading an article about you today. Um, you've done a lot of great things in Utah. <laughs> well, we had a lot of help. It takes a lot of people yeah. working together. And uh, once we have that, and I think we have the same opportunities here in San Diego. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I've had the opportunity of uh, being involved with homeless groups yeah. uh, for several years. Uh, in my previous employment, we had the opportunity to focus yeah. on chronically homeless individuals to help them uh, with the, the basic issues of housing and service provision. Yeah. And I'm sure you know a lot about this. Yeah. That, you know, if you've got a lot of homeless individuals, what we need to do is to provide housing for them. You've been on the street for a while? Yeah, four years. Four yes. years. Yes. See, and that's really hard, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it, catches, it happens fast. <laughs> right. One day leads to the next, it's just it's right. overwhelming. Because you're, you're focused on just surviving. Right. You can't really get your life together. With the house, you know, a lot of worries are laid to rest, and they so just start working. That's a very important point. Yeah. With a house, then you can work on the changes. Yes. Uh, whatever those changes are. Yeah. I don't know what changes are that you want to do, yeah. but as long as you can work on those changes and have a safe, decent house yeah. to work on them. Yeah. That is so valuable. Yeah, that's true. Housing First is definitely the way to go, I think. And it's worked. It's worked in other places like Houston and, and Utah. Yeah. Well, we've, we had a lot of success with it in Utah. Uh, we committed to that strategy yeah. and uh, we did have a lot of success. The people from Houston came in and visited us. Did they? <laughs> they came in, they brought their whole teams in two different times mm. uh, as they were trying to figure out what to do. Yeah. So we're not saying that what we did is the only way to deal with, yeah. with these problems, but it worked for us. Yes, yes. And it's working elsewhere and so I'm sure that we'll we'll place an emphasis on that here in San Diego. Uh, tell me a little bit more about yourself and how you got involved with this. Well, I was born and raised in uh, Utah, oh. but uh, as a young man, we, we lived in Washington, D.C., and then oh. in Iran for two years. Oh, wow. And then also as a young man, I lived in Germany and yeah. Italy. Oh. So uh, a lot of international experience. Yes. And in fact, my wife and I, just returned uh, Frankfurt, Germany as volunteers for our church. Oh, I see. And I have found that I am happiest when I'm serving others. Yeah. And as a result of that, I'm very much interested in uh, spending the balance of my life in helping oh, uh, other individuals. And that's one of the reasons why, yeah. why I'm here is to me, this is, I've been given an opportunity to come to San Diego and to help people here to yeah. find what they're looking for. You think it's going to be a challenge to get all these different nonprofits and different uh, governmental agencies together on one page? Yeah. The thing that impresses me here in San Diego is that the, the various governmental entities are committed to making, making a change. Yes. Uh, the county, uh, Ron Roberts, Supervisor Ron Roberts, is very committed to making a change yes. and having something done now. Yes. Uh, the mayor of San Diego, Kevin Faulkner, mm. is interested in the same outcome. Mm. As a result of that, you have the political will. Mm. Then we have to work with the service providers to make sure that, that they're using best practices and, and being very efficient with resources. Yes. There is a limit of resources. And as a result of that, uh, we have to make sure that we use them efficiently. Yes. Also, other groups such as the business community, I've had the opportunity of meeting with them uh, multiple times already and know that they are committed, both committed from a time but also from a money point of view. But one of the things that I found, Tony, was that it's just cheaper. <laughs> Yeah. to house a person than to have them on the street. Mm -hmm. And that's when we take all of the costs of the social services, all of the costs of the disruptions in the streets,
mm -hmm. all of these various costs. Mm -hmm. But when you add all of those up, it's actually cheaper yeah. to provide housing than it is to leave people on the street. Mm -hmm. And the other important point about that is the fact that lives can be saved. Yeah. And lives are saved by providing housing. So if someone wants to be involved in a life changing measure, <laughs> Working with the homeless population is a very strong area to become involved with. I've been very impressed <laughs> since I've been here at the interest in the community. A lot of this is teaching people what it is all about mm -hmm. because many people who live behind locked gates do not have an understanding mm -hmm. of what is happening, where they are going, uh, and so a lot of this is really about education. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's what really excites me about being involved with this, and about doing the uh, coming here to San Diego and working with you. Yeah. I hope we get to work together, Tony. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. All right. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hey. See you later. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, I'm really impressed with Ron. <laughs> he is a wonderful man. Yes, sir. He is so committed. He's one of the very key reasons why I've come, because he showed the interest, he's committed to making a change, and he's committed to doing it now. Yeah, I think so. And you don't, you don't find that every place. No. So where are you staying? Um, I stay, I try to stay away from the patient group of everybody else, which okay. is 16th and 17th Street. I stay closer to the police station. To the police station? Yeah. Is this the mid... Um, Mid City Police Station? No, it's uh, downtown Central. Downtown Central? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm still learning. <laughs> so, one of these days I may come walking by, but I okay. won't be wearing a tie. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very humble, very modest man. I mean, look at his car, it's not fancy. It, it, he, he, did, he said he didn't want to talk about his accomplishments, which there are many. Um, He's funny. He, it's just amazing. I, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that he came to San Diego. I, f I feel rejuvenated with a new uh, uh, energy. Uh, the momentum is just upped it <laughs> a few stages, you know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad that we have him. And he, and he wants to work, me to work with him on some other projects, which um, is it, scary, but, <laughs> but I, I, of course I'll do it. Of course I'll work with him. Um, yeah, it was a great interview.